On 17th December 2023, several makeshift stores in Kamwala near the area popularly known as Big Mose were demolished by Lusaka City Council. The operation was conducted between 01 hours and 06.30 hours. On the same day, Lusaka City Council released a statement saying the shops were built on a privately owned land and the traders were operating without licenses and were not paying taxes to the council. However, on 18 December 2023, traders of Kamwala near Big Mose area are claiming of paying taxes to the council. <laughs> It's not for the period near December, meaning a minute in a month. Because I want to get one extra allow to start trade part. So we still suppose for the period of December, May to the period. Come as spokesperson, not as come back to the my documents. I don't say, till now my documents are here. Pa, then it is not so much that renew my demand in January. Pa, not so much in now. I'm now for the tax. We both have a very bad time. so how is it possible that but there are some folk MP while they have been some put start demolition there's a calling president haga in the actually to come on ground and see what's happening what is about kind of working hard to at 7 0 was 7 0 zico wana sanka mungu so what people just are people are president to haka in the actually my brother for ground of a physical scandal you also by in the circle when there are information right information not convert a chapel my cancer I have school fees to pay as young as I am. I'm paying for myself in school. So how am I going to sponsor myself in January? To Meanwhile, Lusaka City Council Assistant Public Relations Manager Nyambe Bulunda, this is what he had to say. And uh, uh, traders have raised uh, complaints and concerns that uh, they've been paying some taxes to the council. And so they are wondering why particular uh, place had their shops demolished. In the first place, you might wish to know that uh, there, it could be a case where unscrupulous individuals are going through such places to collect payments from the traders. And uh, this is the money that does not reach the coffers of the council. So in as far as the council is concerned, these people have not been making official payments to the council. We have not received any money from such traders. And so we'll follow up the matter uh, to see who is there, who is behind attending, who is behind collecting these fees from uh, the traders to ensure that we find the, the root cause. Otherwise, as the council, we don't collect it. However, some of their goods have been retained. Vincent Kalunga reporting from